Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Today is a Cinema 4D uh, tutorial and we're going to be working on, I'm going to be working on some exploded kind of transition to kind of any object. However, for this tutorial I'm going to be using text. Yeah, so let's take a quick look at what we're going to be working on today. Um, go to the run effect here and if I drag it across, you'll see that the text starts to disperse and kind of explode out and then back in as it moves across. So that's what we're going to be working on today. Uh, maybe if you think it's a bit basic or whatever, uh, I guarantee you will pick up some tips along the way. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to go File New, Start Off. And I'm going to start off by kind of saying the kind of the, the, the typical way you'd go about this, but by, by, by like second nature. Uh, if I have the text in Connor, I'm going to go to Font, and we have Arial Black. You know, for a nice big bold chunky font. Uh, depth 130, okay. And there we go. And we've got some nice kind of bold text there. Stands out quite a bit. And uh, one thing you do is kind of get that effect is I'd probably typically go to this kind of bending tool down here and go to explosion effects and add that as a child of the text object, like so. And then if I scrub this across here, uh, it kind of gives this kind of effect. And um, what, see that this gives off this kind of does pieces as opposed to um, it's hard to explain, uh, but you, if hopefully you can see the visual difference. This is more of like pieces of the whole text, and the whole text explodes and whatnot, as opposed to like little extracts of the text. Uh, so let's go away of how I actually do it. Uh, take out the explosion effects and delete it, uh, so we don't have to do the text again. And so holding the text, you want to make this. Uh, layer editable. Now you don't have to use text for this, you can use a, uh, a shape or whatever, anything you've imported from Photoshop or Illustrator and add that in and uh, just make sure it's editable so hit C on your keyboard, C on your keyboard, C on your keyboard? I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, make sure you hit C so it's editable now. Uh, you can't change the text from this point so make sure you've got your text correct. Uh, go to the drop down, drop down and drop down and you see I've wrote Connor, so where it says Connor and to the bottom R, hold shift and drag these out and delete the top text objects. Just makes it a little bit more tidy. Now I'll hide it, go to the corner layer, and I'm going to go to MoGraph and I'm going to go down to Poly Effects. Now I'll add Poly Effects as a child of that text null object layer. So it'll sit in between the layers and the extruded nerves of individual character. So now from that, you want to make sure you've got Poly Effects in the lightest possible orange and go to MoGraph and Random Effector and oh look there we go uh, you see immediately it's starting to look uh, quite a bit different, gives a lot of a uh, bit of a different effect, looks quite nice uh, more exploded kind of more pieces as opposed to chunks and with some good settings and textures and materials uh, th that's got the potential to look really nice maybe with some animation or something else going on uh, but one thing I like to do is on Poly Effects go to Fall Off change the shape to from infinite infinite to something like uh, choose any of the shapes it does not really matter uh, sphere kind of like a basic sphere uh, basically what the shape means is kind of it's just imagine it being a shape and every time the shape is going along the text uh, everything within that shape will kind of be will be be exploded out so if you have a square it will be a square explosion uh, circular gives like obviously Obviously a circle and a cone will give kind of a disjointed effect. Might look quite nice. In fact, I might try a cone. There we go. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, different to... Yeah. Uh, I'll stick with a sphere. Go back to old ways. There we go. Uh, so that's looking good. So obviously, render that out. And you can see that the text is kind of exploded there. And that's looking nice. Uh, so you want to go to render effector. And if you just kind of maybe not random effect, sorry, poly effects, and just you know scrub this along, you see that it, it's really giving some good settings. Uh, obviously, you can change them down here, like the weight or whatever. Uh, basically, the intensity, the scale, like you know, how small you want it to be, or whatever. Obviously, you can change the scale by these little dots around the sides. Ooh, there we go. If you want to make it more irregular, and finally the fall off. Uh, you know, you just change that, and obviously there's all the transform effects. You know, mess around with that, kind of how you will. Uh, trial and error is always the best bet. I do encourage that quite highly. 
and um, that's looking quite good. Uh, maybe one other um, quick tip is if I render this out, uh, you see that the text looks kind of too too open, like it's disjointed. Uh, so a way to kind of get rid of this, I'd say, is to go to the corner layer, minimize it, uh, make another copy of that layer. So control drag down. So that means there's to be two copies of the layer. And on any of the layers, uh, just delete poly effects, like so. And so now if we render this out, you see that you've already got the original text layer as well as the exploding, exploding character like segments of the text. So we go to the random effector, keep doing that, not random effector, poly effects in the original one, zoom out a tad so you can see all the text. Uh, it just explodes part of the text without it actually exploding it, if you know what I mean. Uh, so basically you've duplicated the layers. Uh, it gives a nice effect, uh, can be used in intros, uh, add some texture in there, good render settings, and you got yourself a good potential intro or whatnot. Uh, but anyway, that's looking about it. Uh, some of that for me, guys. Thanks for watching this video. I've been Connor with Chrome Designs. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.